I've been a prison guard since I was 18 years old, prison guard all my life. You know, some of these inmates, I have known them since I was 18 years old. You know, the gang leaders, the gang, you know, the higher up, you know, guys that started out in the state joint back in the late 70s. I knew them when I was in the state joint. You know, they was the inmate and I was a guard. And here we are 10 years later, I'm still a guard. They're an inmate in the federal joint. Now, there's a code in prison. Anytime, every prison I have ever worked at, if a guard gets assaulted by an inmate, that inmate knows he's got an ass whooping coming. But at Marion, they wouldn't let us do anything. Uh, it was like they was encouraging inmates. If you assault a guard, we're not going to do nothing. But if you bust out a light bulb or you bust a window, we're going to beat your ass. Shawnee Correctional Center is going to become the new super maximum security for the state, the way Marion is for the federal government. But they can't lock it down until after two guards get killed in the state system. So that's why the state prisons are having so much trouble. It's because the administrations are fucking with them, trying to get a riot going. So if two guards get killed, they're going to take all the gang leaders, all the bad hardcore inmates in the state system, they're going to put them in Shawnee, and they're going to put it on 24-hour deadline. And they get an open budget. I knew a riot was going to happen any damn day, any time I knew it was going to happen. So I figured every time they put me inside, I figured, well, this is it. It's going to go down here. So I'd keep my eyes on certain inmates and certain groups to see if anything was going to kick off. And I could tell by the way these uh, seven or eight inmates, is all, all of them was Indians. Latin kings and shit like that. I could tell by the way they were just looking at each other and laughing that something was going down. 